thanks for tuning in back in. This is Optibotnos coming to you with another video review. And this time I'm bringing you the other Toys R Us exclusive commemorative edition figures. And that will be the Decepticon agents known as the Insecticons. And as you see, again, nice, beautiful packaging. 25th anniversary, 1984 to 2009. Exclusive. A uh, bit of a bio thing here on the side. Just talking about Transformers in the past 25 years. Experience the thrill once again. Discovering the secrets of the most sinister Decepticon trio of all time. Identical to the original toys. These convertible action figures let you, re let you reproduce all the action of the evil insecticons uh, really nice packaging um, one thing that is kind of interesting when you open this up and this is true of you see all the uh, the insect you get all three insecticons with them but they're they're named differently um, instead of bombshell it's hard shell uh, kickback is the same and then sharp shot instead of shrapnel uh, I'll more than likely refer to them as shrapnel and bombshell um, just because I probably will but again really nice packaging you can see the uh, figures in there now I have heard rumor that these actually feel a whole lot more fragile than the original 80 figure 80s figures so let me get these guys open and we'll take a look and we'll go from there okay guys so here we have the Insecticons in their regular insect modes now the Insecticons, what we know about them is that basically they seem to have been on the Nemesis from the very beginning. However, uh, Megatron didn't really know that they were there, it seems like. And right when the Nemesis crashed, they ejected and landed in a swamp where they took on insect forms. During this time, they pretty much, uh, because they were big giant insects, were really terrorizing the humans in the area, <laughs> scaring them shitless for the most part because they're big giant insects walking around. <clears throat> they're they're in, they're Decepticons, but only when they seem to need to be Decepticons. Uh, they like remaining individual for the most part, staying amongst their own kind. It's it's kind of an uneasy alliance usually when it forms between the Decepticons and Insecticons. Starting off first with the center guy here. Now this, because of copyright reasons, He's actually named Sharp Shop, but this is Shrapnel. Now, Shrapnel, whatever kind of bug he is, I'm not 100% sure. I know he's a grasshopper, uh, but other than that, I really can't tell you what kind of insects these are. I know there are certain kinds specifically to them. I just don't know. I know he likes controlling electricity and things of that nature. Now, really nice looking. Now, one thing that somebody didn't mention uh, there is no die. There, uh, these were part of the original diaclone line, and you can see that they still have those uh, seats. All three of them have the seats for the little micro men, but there's no die cast. I don't think in here. Uh, this is all plastic. Um, some of this is made to look like metal, but it's unfortunately not. But shrapnel here, gorgeous looking figure. One thing that's kind of neat about these is the Insecticons, you had to apply the stickers. So all these stickers that you see on here, with the exception of the rub symbol, uh, all had to be applied. Eh, they seem a little cheap on the stickers, to be honest, but what are you going to do? Now to transform them, first extend the legs outward, fold out the little feet, rotate the waist, and there's actually a good deal of articulation in these um, stickers down here, like come off. So you got the arms right up here. Take these little things and just fold them back. Spread this, and here you have shrapnel. Uh, small figures. These guys are tiny. They're here's a scout class figure. Uh, they're about the same size as scout classes, so fairly tiny, but still nice nonetheless. Their guns kind of hold on funny because they have no hands. They're, it's kind of weird how they they just kind of peg on here and you kind of pretend like they're holding their weapon. So there's shrapnel. Very nice. Again, articulation, nothing with the head. The arms move back and forth. And the uh, legs at the upper waist move back and forth. So you get a little bit of possibility with them. And for the most part, shrapnel is the leader 
of the Insecticons, although it did alternate between him and Bombshell, who's also referred to as Hardshell. Again, because of copyright reasons. And he's some kind of a dune bug or something of that nature. He shoots out shells and all that stuff. He controls people's minds. Um, there, there was an episode where he was controlling the... I think it was either... Um, I think it was Sideswipe or Sunstreak or one of the one of the brothers, but really nice again. Not too specific or not too particular. All of them have wheels so that they can roll. Um, his little antenna doodad here moves up and down. Transform him. You just rotate these legs out and around. I do wish these rotated because uh, otherwise you're stuck with that being the front of the legs. That would just look a little bit better because it's closed off. Fold these outward <clears throat> and you have his arms and again and these are really stiff again you have the the diaclone micromen section here if I can get it that just folds on out and there's his little face and you just kind of keep that in the front and just kind of rotate that like so he actually does have holes in his hands where you can hold them and again no die cast in these figures at all which is disappointing but again this is the first time I've ever owned the Insecticon so I'm happy having all three of them and last but not least the only one that didn't get a name change name ch name change kickback um, actually pretty nice I really like this guy you just fold this up like so kind of straighten out the legs rotate the head around to the front rotate these wings back and yeah, these do feel flimsy. Kind of come around here. These kind of just push together to form his arms. And again, he's got the weird, weird gun. I don't even know. You probably hold just, yeah, just slide it in like that. And there you have him with his little antennae. And uh, again, articulation, his arms will rotate. His head does rotate, and the antennas kind of move and back and forth at the upper part of the leg. Same with him, you get some movement at the upper part of the leg, and the arms rotate, the head doesn't do anything. But these guys really are a nice collection piece. They're, they're not the G1 figures, but... Hopefully they'll last a little bit longer just because they're newer. Really nice figures. I really like all of them. I think they're fantastic. They all look really neat. The cool thing about Insecticons too is they could clone themselves. And you could have an army of Insecticons and it works. So if you have extra Insecticons or if you have the original G1s, you could pick these guys up and just have them be your uh, the clones, I suppose. Um, really simple. Really simple figures. You know, you transform him back. You rotate. You know, he doesn't want to rotate that way. Rotate the head. Kind of put the wings back. Now I'll take the gun off. I mean, these guys are just really cool. I'm really, really happy to have picked these up. And like I said, I sat in, in a line for... Quite a while, uh, two hours at Toys R Us to be able to pick these guys up, and I'm really happy that I did. So, kick back, and you know, and you can just position these arms down. Here we have Bombshell. Then pull these up and around. And the other neat thing about the Insecticons is they were able to actually, whenever they would ingest anything, for the most part, uh, they could create Energon. So that was another reason why the Decepticons really liked these guys. They could create Energon pretty much whenever they wanted to. Come on, why don't you want to slide in? Uh oh, there we go. So, 
Overall, though, guys, uh, I mean, if you, if you are interested in the stickers, don't appear to stay on here very well, so I could have a problem with those. Um, so if you guys have never had the Insecticons, really, this is a fantastic set to really have. It's $35. You get three figures with it, so to me, it's almost a little bit better of a deal than Perceptor himself, but overall, these things are phenomenal. Highly recommend picking up every one of these things, all these commemorative figures. Perceptor is fantastic. This Insecticon set, glorious. So until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in. This was Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.